Today is February the 15th and it is time to plant potatoes. For our zone 9A, it's okay to go ahead and start them in January and I already have some which you will see tomorrow when we plant these potatoes that I have here. Um, I decided to wait a little longer to plant the rest of them because we had a hard freeze coming and I didn't want the potatoes to rot because they will if it's too cold. I have right here a few golden Yukon that actually the eyes are almost too big but we'll use them anyway. These were left from last year's crop that I have. And in this bag I bought some red potatoes from my local farm store. Now I have a total of four 50 gallon totes and also three 13 gallon pots that I want to plant potatoes. When you're um, preparing your potatoes, you want to have at least two eyes on each slice. And you see I have some other eyes here. So I'm going to try to cut this. Again, you want at least two eyes. But in this slice, we're going to have three because of how it's placed. Two eyes. And so you get the picture. And you always want to prepare your potatoes at least 24 hours before you're going to plant them because you want them to form a scab and it helps prevent it from uh, rotting. When we, after these have sat overnight, I'm going to dust them with this high yield uh, sulfur. And this is uh, to help prevent fungus on your potatoes. And also potatoes like a slightly acidic soil, they're like loamy, um, well composted soil too. So the soil in our containers have already been prepared with uh, composted chicken manure and loose loamy soil. And I also, you want to add a little potash for root development. Well, you may remember from my other video that we use uh, hydrated lime instead of actual, actual uh, firewood ashes. So this uh, helps with the root development. All right, so let's cut some more potatoes. All right, we have them all sliced up. These are the golden Yukons. You can see they're very well sprouted. Because I've had them a while, but they'll be okay. So I'm going to leave these out on the newspaper all night and um, they should have formed enough scab on them. These are my red potatoes. These are nice sprouts on them. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go out to the garden and we'll dust them again with the sulfur and then we'll plant them. That's all. All right. It's the next day and it's time to plant the potatoes. Right here in this bag, I have the potatoes that you saw was chopped last night. And it formed a nice scab. And this powdery stuff is my sulfur, which I dusted on them. I put these in the bag and just ship it around a little bit. All you need is just a little bit, not even a handful. Just enough to coat the potatoes. Alright. In these 13 gallon buckets, the soil has already been prepared. So you want to bury your potatoes about 4 inches down. With the eyes up. For this size pot, I may do five because sometimes someone may dig one up. You won't call names. <laughs> so just in case we lose a few, we have extra in there. All right, we just bury it and wait for it to grow up. 
and as they grow up, you will add salt to them. Now these are red potatoes. Now let's look in this bucket. This is a 50 gallon tote. You may remember us preparing about a month ago. Well, these are some potatoes I went on and planted in January. Well, that freeze that I mentioned kind of damaged these. They look like they're not going to make it, but they will. I dug down in there and felt and the stalks are still firm because I had added soil just the other day so that protected them. This the top foliage kind of looks bad, but it'll be fine. Here's another tote. These are golden Yukons. And here's the last one. And like I said, these will be fine. The stalks feel firm. It's just the foliage. All right. You may be asking what we're going to do with the remaining potatoes that we had left from when we cut them to plant them. Well, let's just throw them in a the compost pile. We don't waste anything around here.